Mr. Karabinchak. Yeah, Rob Karabinchak, 84 Web Street. Um, this is regarding the redevelopment agency. Obviously, everyone on the council got my long letter that I, I tried to give you a lot of, a lot of facts and basis about the redevelopment agency and about the other towns. Um, I was slightly disappointed that nothing was spoken about, about some of the points in my letter uh, to this council uh, on the work session at all. Talked about some superfluous stuff, but not about any of the details that were in the letter and some of the questions that I brought up that were gonna be, obviously gonna be affect the way that this ordinance is written today. Now through the, through the chair, or through the council president, um, the councilwoman Pearlstein, um, I understand that obviously you've talked to Joe Bauman, I've talked to Joe Bauman many times. Um, but I'm gonna challenge both you and Mr. Bauman. Here's the state statute. You could tell Mr. Bauman to show me any time he'd like and give it to you and give it to this council and give it to the public where it states that you could give and take on any of the powers that you are going to give to the redevelopment agency. It clearly says you can't. However, the cute words are this, and it was very, Joe did a very nice job writing you a letter back. Yes, the council has the power. I have to get my glasses, I'm getting tired these days. But this is what the council has the power to do. It's right in here, section four, you need to know. You have the power to preliminary investigate, send it to the planning board and do it. You have the power to, to decide if, a, if, a, if an area is in need of redevelopment, you can adopt an area of redevelopment and the plan. And the last thing that this council has, and the only thing that the council has last, is that you can determine an area in need of rehabilitation. That's it. That's the law. That's the law, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing else here. You can't selectively say, well, in this particular development, we're going to keep the eminent domain. Wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. That's why I'm challenging you to get Mr. Bauman here. He could, here's the statutes. This is what's in your ordinance. Have him come here, let him sit here, and explain to me how, and show me in the writing where you're allowed to do it. You're wrong. I can't say it any stronger. I also ask this council to please get the information on the formation of the redevelopment agency. Has anybody done it? Has anybody gotten it? I'm gonna ask through the council president to take a poll. Have you gotten <coughs> it? I don't know if anyone would like to respond to that. Okay, councilman yeah. Pelstein. So you got this. Councilwoman, you got this. I don't know, I can't. This is the formation of the redevelopment agency that I brought up. This is the first document that goes to the local um, uh, the local, uh, local finance board in order to give the township the right to create a redevelopment agency. In fact, I even told you, I read into the certain things that had to be in this document. Did anybody get, did you read it? I don't want to put you on the spot. However, here's the words of the expert that you've toted so highly tonight. Here's his words, and it's underneath projects to be undertaken. I'm just gonna read the second paragraph of it. The second sentence, I'm sorry. The Township of Edison's redevelopment agency can use the powers of eminent, to, uh, eminent domain to achieve parcel consolidation. I don't know, you said you couldn't. There it is, this is, what, this is what he said to the state, and it can. The other one, I'll go to the third paragraph. Contingent upon the needs of each redevelopment area, the project will consist of a variety of residential, commercial, and mixed-use buildings. This is what's down in the state. Now let's go to Exhibit D. There's three development areas. One is Hearts Mountain. One is Revlon, which isn't even here yet. You haven't even spoken about it. You, this council hasn't decided that this is an area of redevelopment, yet it's in the program. And the next one happens to be Jackson Avenue, where there are multiple houses multiple houses. Drive down, go take a look. There's people actually that live there. The other thing that has to be in there is what it's gonna cost the taxpayers. The way your ordinance is written, the way you've just passed it along for uh, introduction, is you're increasing the taxes 
to the taxpayers. I asked you to please, in my letter I said, you just could change a few things in the ordinance that would make it palatable. You haven't done a thing. That's a shame. You're increasing the taxes. Now here's, here's what the projected cost is just to come out of the box that went to the state. $150,000 for personnel. Another $15,000 just to write the documents for this. Is that the beginning? That's only the beginning. That's only the beginning. And as, as Councilman Muscola said, he wants the experts. Well, all you've done is you've, you've, you've switched the, the authority to this agency to hire the experts, when in essence, this council can still hire the experts, just like we did when we did hearts. I'm just, I'm just, I guess I'm very emotional about this because it's very dear to me since I'm the one who started it. And yet, I'm still asking the same questions, and I would have, if I was still sitting there, I'd be asking the same questions, and I, and I don't see the merit why you haven't even addressed any of these questions. Thank you, sir. Back. Thank you. Mr. Romano. 